Hey, how's it going guys? So with the Kindred Fates Alpha currently being out, we finally have a tangible piece of the game to work with when creating videos, which is honestly great. Now, since the Alpha is extremely new, I do expect there to be changes and updates moving forward that could drastically affect the overall meta, as well as the way in which some kinfolk are played, and even the roster itself is going to see an expansion at some point, which will likely include balancing adjustments for the currently available kinfolk as well. All that being said, a lot of eyes are currently on the Alpha, and a lot of people really want to see what each kinfolk is capable of and how exactly they play. In order to give everyone sort of a basic idea of how each kinfolk works, I'm starting a new mini-series on the channel where we we go over each kinfolk's combat capabilities. Now, I don't purport to be the apex of the competitive scene, but now that controller support's working a lot better with, you know, a couple issues here and there, I can definitely hold my own in game without getting completely dominated by everybody. <laughs> so definitely think of these videos more as overviews rather than strict competitive guides, because like I said, everything's gonna change. Uh, the game also still has some latency issues and some bugs which do kind of affect which movesets are currently better than others. But I do think we can definitely discuss each kinfolk's capability, uh, which items seem to bring the most favorable results for that kinfolk, and what each kinfolk brings to the table. Now with all of that out of the way, welcome to the very first Kindred Fates combat overview video featuring Slifer, an oddly familiar thievenous raccoon who happens to be my personal main and probably new favorite kinfolk. Okay, so Slifer is a null type kinfolk that primarily focuses on both speed and close ranged attacks. It actually gets access to the most moves in the alpha, including swipes, its basic attack, bite, bounce, homing blast, roar, sharpen, startle, and thrash. Each attack has its own unique way in which it'll affect your playstyle, however for the most part all of these attacks are heavily focused on the formerly mentioned close range combat. Swipes allows you to attack three times in a row, acting as Slifer's basic combo. However, it does have a very short range, and it has a lot of trouble making contact unless you're right on top of the enemy kinfolk. Bite has a much better range, creating a giant mouth in front of the kinfolk and is much more reliable, especially during the current state of the alpha. Bounce is Slifer's only non-null type move being air type, and it allows it to quickly dash in a direction, and anyone struck during this dash will take damage. This is one of, if not the most threatening move in Slifer's arsenal, so I recommend you make it mandatory on your set. Bounce does, however, currently suffer from some strange interactions with the terrain at times. A riverside slanted and uneven terrain oftentimes makes the game think you're colliding with something and then sends you way off course. But just be wary of that. It's much more reliable on the forest and ruin stages, however. Homing Blast is a weak yet useful utility that will seek out the target and damage them as you'd expect with a homing effect. Although I'm currently not sure if this is the best ability to have on Slifer, you can definitely do it, but it just seems to go against his premises, which is high speed and direct damage. So while it is good to use to avoid getting kited by certain kinfolk like Skullkin, I'll definitely need to do some more experimentation moving forward before I can fully recommend using this on your set. Roar is a non-damaging ability that will lower both attack and special attack of your opponent by one stage. Slifer isn't particularly tanky, however once again I find this this attack to sort of go against what Slifer truly stands for, and I'll get more into that in a bit when I show you guys the moves that I've been working with, but yeah, I feel like if you're close enough to get off a roar, you're better off getting a, a triple swipe, a bite, or a bounce off if possible. Sharpen is another necessity in my opinion. This is your Swords Dance equivalent. It increases Slifer's attack stat by two stages and just turns him into an absolute monster. Not much more to say about that other than definitely make use of it. Startle, much like Roar, is a stat lowering ability, this time for the enemy defenses, which once again, while a decent attack on its own merit, doesn't really work with Slifer in my opinion, especially if you're boosting with Sharpen. Trust me, you don't need the extra damage from lowering defenses after even a single Sharpen. Now finally is Thrash, and this is a barrage of hits that I'm sort of on the fence about with regards to Slifer. I mean, it's definitely a powerful attack, though if you miss, you get locked into it and you're at high risk of getting damaged, especially given Slifer's low bulk. I've been using it on my Slifer personally up until now, but I found that I don't really end up using it much and I may decide to go for Homing Blast instead for the formerly mentioned Skullkin reason. All right, so in terms of setup, I run Swipes, Bite, Bounce, Thrash, or Homing Blast, and Sharpen. The battleground you end up on will depend on how you play, but I believe Slifer excels most on the the ruin stage. His high speed mixed with his deadly attacks make it easy to buff, 
go in and get out. He actually functions like a glass cannon, so I wouldn't be surprised if he did end up having an air lean in the future, getting access to more dynamic abilities involving speed and burst damage. Uh, for a held item, I definitely recommend using the Black Mask, which is basically the Kindred Fates equivalent to the Life Orb from Pokemon. You'll do more damage every time you make a contact, but you'll also take damage when you attack. Because of the way I run this set, you won't be hitting your enemies for more than once or twice maximum before they're dead, so it's definitely worth the incoming damage. Don't be surprised if you do end up one-shotting a lot of your enemies, even after a single sharpen. The basic idea behind this set is you're going to boost, and then you're going to go in and try to hit them with a bounce, a bite, or a swipe. So honestly, it doesn't really matter which one you end up hitting them with. It's going to do a ton of damage. I personally like to utilize bounce quite a bit, but the choice is yours. But I could sit here and explain all day how he plays. I think it's better just to show you guys a few clips of how truly monstrous this kinfolk is. Alright, so we're going to take a second to talk about Slifer's weaknesses, or at least what I've noticed can cause quite the issue for Slifer. So, the vast majority of kinfolk right now use ranged abilities to some extent, however, I find that Kadoki, Shovelbutt, Mechid, and Amber shouldn't be too much of an issue due to the fact that they all are quite slow, so you can close the distance. You just have to watch out for Mechid's rush ability, and you should be fine. Uh, the threats that are more prevalent, I'd say, are the Stag, which is still manageable if you do manage to close the distance. It also has a rush ability, so again, watch out for that. But the most notable counter I find to Slifer is Skulkin. Skulkin is pretty powerful in the current build in that it can literally just poison you with one attack and then run away and kite. Right now, jumping doesn't cost stamina, so I've noticed a lot of people spamming that jump while creating poison pools and then basically running away until your opponent gets KO'd. Annoying, but quite effective. Skulkin's not very tanky, so if you do manage to get that hit off, you'll likely kill it, especially if boosted, but he can be extremely annoying to deal with, so definitely keep that in mind. I found that the Gentle Gaze and Ember are pretty decent at dealing with Skulkin, though he still is quite menacing either way. But yeah guys, Slifer is a very powerful melee fighter in an alpha that has an abundance of ranged enemies. His amazing speed and crippling power can catch enemies off guard and absolutely decimate entire teams in an instant. I hope this video was either helpful for those of you who are currently in the alpha, or at least informative to those of you who are waiting, or those who are just waiting for the full release of Kindred Fates. We still have six more kinfolk to break down, so definitely look forward to that. And with all that being said, if you did enjoy the video, please make sure to like and subscribe for more Kindred Fates and of course monster taming content. Follow me on Twitter at GymLeaderEd. You can check out my subscriber Discord and my Patreon, all links in the description. Until next time, peace.